Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, greetings. My name is Richard. And today, we want to share with you four benefits of what you can get from a nasal breathing. Number one, when you do nasal breathing, you learn to relax because you are consciously inhaling in and out. And when you relax, you will actually learn to overcome some of the medical condition. One of it would be you can actually lower your blood pressure. Number two is to energize. The moment you learn to breathe through your nose, more oxygen goes to your air and you will be energized. And when you're energized, you'll be able to be more motivated, more engaged in your day-to-day -day work. And most importantly, if you breathe through your nose, you will overcome flu and cold. I have not had flu and cold for many, many years. And number three is when you breathe in through your nose, you will have this nice gushing sound. And that actually is some form of spending time alone with you and your inner ear and your thoughts. And benefit number four, you can actually tame some of your wild thoughts because day by day, we are bombarded with a lot of thoughts here and there, thinking about this, thinking about that, ruminating this and that. And 90% of what we worry does not really happen. So how do we actually do this uh, nasal breathing? So to start off with, we like you to just lie down. And when you lie down, I want you to put a hand on your chest and the other hand just above your ribcage, or rather below the ribcage, just above the diaphragm. And I want you to breathe normally. And you will notice that most of us have been taught to breathe through our chest. We have been conditioned to breathe through our chest because during our early days, when we learned to swim, we were taught how to breathe through the mouth. And even when we do exercise, the teacher will actually teach us, take a deep breath through your mouth. So we have to relearn how we breathe. So now that you notice that most of us, before learning this technique, actually breathe through our chest, we want you to consciously breathe through your diaphragm and tummy. So first stage, we want to do it lying down. You can do once in the morning and once at night. Do it for three to nine times. And what do you do? You inhale to the count of seven. And you exhale to the count of seven. And then you release your hand and you pinch your nose to the count of seven. So I repeat, you inhale to your belly to the count of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you exhale by contracting your belly. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then you pinch your nose and you hold your breath for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is one round. You can do three to nine rounds. And an additional tip will be when you close your mouth, we want you to put your tongue above your palate. But the palate means you're actually putting your tongue against your upper teeth. That will prevent you from mouth breathing and you will be consciously breathing through the nose. So the first week, we actually suggest that you do uh, nose breathing, lying down for just one week and you'll be able to gain the benefits of this nasal breathing. And the second week, you can actually do like what I do, do sitting up and also be very conscious of where you, your breath goes in. You can do it seated. And then from the third week onwards, you can actually do it standing up and walking. And then you can actually combine with your walk, your 20 minutes walk, breathing in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then breathing out, seven, six, five, four, three, and then holding, by the time you have been consciously knowing how to hold because your tongue is against your palate, you'll be able to hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So as you continue to gain the benefit of this breathing, but somebody asked me, how does nasal breathing actually improve our health? Well, number one, most of us are breathing through the mouth and the nasal passage is much, much larger than our throats. So when we breathe through our nasal passage, there is this thing called nitric oxide. 
And nitric oxide actually helps the bloodstream to open and close our blood vessels. And most importantly, it actually helps to circulate and bring the oxygen to the parts of the body which really, really require it. And then it helps to reduce the carbon dioxide and then expel it. So as we breathe in, we actually filter the air through our nasal passage. The air is actually warm, filtered to our body temperature. And there is small, small microscopic hairs in our nose cavity that actually can trap the dust and bacteria. And that's where mucus mixed with it will be uh, you know, extracted. That's why if you're running nose, it will be cleared because the mucous membrane will just clear because the air passage going in and out been filtered and everything that is dirty will be just expelled. So ladies and gentlemen, um, if you have any health problem, uh, please do consult your doctor before doing this exercise. So once again, I'd like to thank you for taking time to have watched this video. My name is Richard. And if you have benefited from this short video, do share it with your friends and family and do follow us on our web. And if you would like some consultation, do visit us and then we can have a session of consultation where we are talking about health and relationship. Thank you. Mm -hmm.